Welcome. In this video, we're going to cover the attack surface mapper feature within CyberCNS. Going to go ahead and get us logged in here. Once you log in, you will notice on the left hand panel, once you're at your company view, you will find the attack surface mapper module listed here. So right here on your left under scan results window. So from here, this is our attack surface mapper. Now, what this does is it's basically an enhanced external scan, if you're familiar with our external scanning um, module. We do have a nice explanation here of what this is actually doing, what we're scanning. And we're going to go ahead and kick one off here today so we can see what this looks like. So we'll go ahead and do RJS log group. That's one of our sample domains that we like to scan to show you guys. So once you scan, You'll get your little magnifying glass. It will kick off. And this scan, depending on the domain size and what it's finding out there, this scan can take anywhere from, I've seen it run in quick as 30 seconds, all the way up to five minutes in some cases. So if you don't have the time to sit here and wait for the little magnifier there to, to finish, you can always open a new tab and kind of continue on. Uh, you don't want to navigate away from the attack surface mapper screen. If you do navigate away, the scan will stop. Um, so just as a tip. So if you let this attack surface mapper, you can always open a new window um, and look, right? And so once the results render on the screen, this is what you'll actually see. So here's the scan results for, tells you the domain that you scanned. And then we give you vulnerability counts, open ports, what's the public facing target IP addresses that you know an attack an attacker may be targeting. We look for any compromised emails or usernames out in the dark web scan. And we identify subdomains connected to rjslawgroup.com. So again, if I scroll down, I'll show you guys some of the data you can pick up. So again, public facing IP, the ASN and location, you can see where it's being hosted at. We've got DNS record reveals here. So any DNS records or text records added, we'll be able to identify what's going on in DNS. We've got an email spoof checking and the DMARC status and record if it's available. And then of course, all the subdomains that may be connected to this domain. So again, this is a, a quick way to be able to scan client's domain and understand what are the attack surfaces out there, you know, Sometimes we talk with our prospects and our partners and their customers and, you know, we ask them, hey, how many domains are you guys managing? And, you know, the customer thinks that they only have one or two. And on this example, there's, you know, there's 10. Um, in some instances, I've seen 20 and 30 and 40 subdomains, depending on how many pages you've got and, and what kind of marketing you're doing and so on and so forth. So this is a great tool to kind of do some extra exploring outside of just doing the normal external scan where we just scan one domain. This will do some domain enumeration, do some crawling and give you guys some additional information that you can use uh, when you're you know, producing discovery, audits, reporting, and really identifying with your customers where are the gaps in security and where are they most vulnerable. So this is the attack surface mapper. We've also got documentation out on our Confluence site for this. So if you're in our docs, connectsecure.com slash docs, you can go look at the attack surface mapper docs as well. Look at, for any you know suggestions, features, enhancements on this. Um, we're always listening. So let us know what we can do to enhance this. You guys can email us anytime, education at cybercns.com. You can also comment on the video and let us know your thoughts and what features you'd like to see here. So thanks again for watching.